All right, this is a lesson where it all gets real, where we're going to be finally able to draw on the canvas using our mouse and do this visually. So there's a few parameters that we still need to set, and I'm going to set that within the mouse object where I'm going to set draw and boolean value to false. And this is the value that we're going to toggle whether we're up or down. So checking to see whatever the value of val is, and depending on if it's up or down, we're going to update the value of draw. So if val is equal to up, they're going to take the value of m draw and set that to false because we don't want to be drawing if the pen is up. Also, we're checking to see if val is down and if it is down, then we're going to set this to true. And this is going to be the ability, we don't actually even have to pass in anything into move as we're just going to call in val. We could pass in move if we want. We don't need to pass in move. And as we're moving it around, we don't have any particular commands for move. And although, depending on whatever the value of m draw is, this is where we're actually going to be drawing on the canvas. So checking to see if m draw, and this is where all the magic happens. So we've got checking to see if m draw is being pushed. So now if we press it, you can see that we're moving, but we're also drawing. And I'll console log out and I'll just say drawing so that we can see at what point we're actually going to be drawing. So refresh. And you can see that this is drawing as we're moving it around. I'm going to get rid of this console because we don't need that anymore. And so you can see that now as I'm moving it around, it should be drawing on the canvas. And then as soon as I get off the canvas area, then we can stop drawing. And whenever I'm back on the canvas area, then we want to start the drawing once again. So try that and we're going to set up CTX begin path because this is a new path that we want to create. And then CTX and using the move to method, we're going to take whatever the position of last X is and move to there and also move to whatever the position of last Y is. So we're moving the pen, uh, the pen where we're starting position is to wherever we know where the last position is. And that's being tracked once again, whenever the mouse is being moved to whatever the current position of the mouse is or whatever we know the current position of the mouse was. So next thing that we need to do is CTX and update the stroke so that we can actually see the content being drawn. Almost forgot that we do need to add in the line two, and this is where we're actually going to be drawing the line to. So we're taking the last position and we're moving it to whatever the current position of mouse is. So that's MX and MY. And then doing a stroke and then CTX and close path. So refresh. And now you see whatever I'm drawing is showing up on the screen. Our color and our width still isn't working. So let's adjust that and account for that. So those are going to be fairly easy to add in where we take the stroke style and this is how we can set the color. So whatever the value is of that pen color input field, that's the value that we want to use. So we'll take that one and we'll try that one. So now we're drawing in yellow. I can change it to red. Uh, now we're drawing in red and so on. So this is just using the regular pop-up color picker for in uh, HTML5. So the other one is that we wanted to set the width. So CTX and this one is called line width. So setting that value and this is going to be equal to whatever the pen width value is. So that's going to make that adjustable as well. So now if we make it wider, it's wider. Narrow, it's narrower. We can change the color using the color picker, make it nice and wide if we want. So we're able to fully draw on the canvas. So go ahead, add this in, and we've got a few other pieces of functionality still to add in to the project. So guide the ability to draw on your canvas.